Hi everyone, Olivia Reiner here for Packers News, joined by Jim Ozarski. We are here at Lambeau Field to talk a little bit about Matt LaFleur and his offense. Jim, one of the biggest reasons Matt LaFleur was hired in the first place was because of his offense. How does he describe it? Yeah, he, he keeps it pretty simple. Um, there are very few secrets at this point. Matt LaFleur says it's a run-based attack. Um, everything builds off of that. They will throw more than they run at the end of the day, but it's, it's all based off getting that run game, that wide zone or stretch scheme, building off that with play action. And then in that pass game, Olivia, he says it's really, it's about building play after play. There's reasons why they call the plays they do and when they do, and it's to make the defense hesitate, to be a little unpredictable using different formations to call essentially the same play. They might call the same play three, four times in a row, but it'll look a little differently each time. Create some unpredictability, which Matt LaFleur says is going to really help Aaron Rodgers. One of the reasons Matt LaFleur says this offense is so quarterback friendly is it presents the illusion of complexity. And that basically means to run in a lot of the same plays, just looking differently to help confuse the defense and make things easier on the quarterback. So let's take a look at a couple of plays from his tenure in Tennessee last year. This is from a game against the Philadelphia Eagles in which the Titans won. So this play was in the red zone. Marcus Mariota is the quarterback. So it began with the running back motioning out wide of the tight end. This helps the quarterback with some pre-snap diagnosis in terms of where coverage goes, man, zone, gives him a good idea of what the defense is going to present. So let's start over on the right side of the quarterback. A couple of things here with these receivers and these routes. A lot of this is timing based and that's why you hear about rhythm, urgency, tempo. This is why. This wide receiver begins his route and will sort of sit down there. As this is happening, this wide receiver comes across. And this helps create a natural pick to a degree, maybe help open up some throwing lanes. This receiver will continue into the end zone. This receiver begins to pull out in this direction and makes a hard step inside, then a hard step outside, and then travels into the end zone as well, running sort of parallel routes, giving the quarterback different options, creating some issues for the secondary. Over on this side, this motioned out running back will come across and sit down. And then just like on the other side, this tight end will come across. Again, the timing has to be right here. So A, they don't run into each other, but also maybe create another natural pick in an open throwing lane. This tight end's route will continue into this corner of the end zone. Now in this particular play, Marcus Mariota found an open throwing lane threw it up to the receiver, touchdown Titans. All right, so let's take a look at the second play out of this Titans-Eagles game, one in which Matt LaFleur said was the exact same as the one we just described, but it's gonna look a little bit different. So again, red zone opportunity, you see three receivers, a tight end, a running back. Formation is a little bit different. Obviously the receivers are now bunched to the other side. Now in this particular play, the quarterback is reading that you know what, it looks like the Eagles are about to show a heavy blitz. So rather than motioning the running back out, some protections are adjusted and we'll see the running back is gonna stay in. This is gonna turn into a three pass catching route. So upon the snap, the tight end, rather than going out into a route, is gonna stay in and block. The protection was determined that the running back would cross after the snap and also remain in to block. But this is still the exact same play. So this receiver will start out, hard step to the outside, begins to travel into the end zone. This wide receiver also begins to the outside. At the same time, again, going back to timing and rhythm, this receiver crosses, sits down here, again, creating a potential natural pick play, um, opening things up, potentially either short or deep into the end zone. This receiver also steps outside and begins to travel in the same direction. Looks very similar, obviously protection changed, picked up a blitz, so now with this motion over here, these pick plays, the receivers traveling in a similar direction requires defenses to make a quick adjustment, which leverage inside outside zone man 
Now in this particular instance, the play was extended. The quarterback moved a little bit. This receiver continued to travel. The throw ended up being touchdown Titans for a victory over the Eagles. But as Matt LaFleur says, illusion of complexity. It may look differently as it unfolds, but this is, as he said, the exact same play as the earlier one, just dressed a little differently. Versions of this system have worked around the NFL. For quarterbacks that aren't nearly as talented as Aaron Rodgers, we will see if it helps the Packers get back to the postseason. For Jim, I'm Olivia. Thanks for watching.